Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Joe Tyrrell and welcome back to GP Blog. The 2022 season is fast approaching and the hype is certainly building ahead of the season opener in Bahrain. Understandably, the eyes of the F1 world are on Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton as they resume their duel for the World Championship. But what about some of the other characters, those who might be going under the radar a little bit and might cause a little bit of a shock? Who could be a dark horse in 2022? Let's find out. Ferrari. Now this is a weird one because many Formula 1 fans are backing Ferrari to be title contenders, especially with the new rules being introduced. However, their form over the last few years have been below par and inconsistent at best, which is probably a bit generous, but that's exactly what makes them dark horses this time around. They arguably have the best driver lineup on the grid in the form of Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc. It's fast, dynamic and immensely entertaining. There's no doubting their drivers, but it all depends on what package they can bring. They might be fancied by many, but their form in recent years is what makes them dark horses. Before we get into the rest of my list, if you're new around here, simply haven't subscribed yet, please hit the button down below because we've got more content than ever coming up and I just don't want you to miss any of it. Alex Albon. Having spent a year away from the full-time grid, Alex Albon is back and with a rejuvenated Williams, he could be one to look out for. I don't expect Williams to tear it up and challenge at the front of the midfield, but I think they are on the up for sure and will be in and around that midfield area. Nicholas Latifi will continue to be a tidy driver as he enters his third season, but I expect Albon to be the leader, a role he thrived in at AlphaTauri. I have high hopes for the Thai driver who also has valuable experience and information, so as long as the team can provide him with the materials, it could be a great move for both parties. Yuki Tsunoda. From a former AlphaTauri driver to a current one, it's fair to say Yuki Tsunoda had a rough first year in Formula 1 and it was compounded by two things, the hype surrounding him and the immense form of Pierre Gasly. The Frenchman is in a different league to Tsunoda but 2022 is a massive opportunity for the young Japanese driver to show he's able to kick it in the pinnacle of motorsport. Time is definitely on his side and that's massive. Also, with a year under his belt which did show improvements, Tsunoda might just be the one to look out for. The Red Bull engine. Last year I said the Ferrari engine was one to look out for as a dark horse. Finally, we don't actually have a driver on our list. Rather, the Ferrari engine. Over the last year, we've got used to the Scuderia power unit being arguably the worst on the grid, but now is its chance to prove everyone wrong. And this year, I've picked rivals Red Bull's power unit as one to watch. Red Bull are entering their first year developing their own power unit, and I think it could go one of two ways. Nothing changes, they stay competitive at the top with probably the second strongest engine, or they completely nosedive. Red Bull have a massive job on their hands developing their own engine, and it will be interesting to see how they fare, although they will still have some assistance from Honda. They are one to keep an arm because no one really knows what they could produce. It could be incredible or it could be incredibly bad. Mick Schumacher. Right, right, I know what you're saying. Haas have been about as useful as a chocolate teapot for the last couple of seasons and their performances have been woeful. So what's to say 2022 is going to be any different? And why Mick Schumacher? Well, Mick is young and obviously talented, but it's a massive year for him to really start making moves and show he's more than just a talent and Michael's son. Mick is the obvious number one at Haas now and he's got a chance to shine or at least do better than many expect. Expectations are through the floor at Haas, and that might help young Mick thrive with the pressure off. It's a big year for Schumacher Jr. Well, those are our dark horses for the 2022 season, but who do you think could spring a surprise? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, do all that wonderful stuff, but most importantly, enjoy testing, and I'll see you soon.